Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground up for the collective, darlings. Let's see what we have here. First thing out is two of swords. Okay. So there has been some type of difficult choice here. Some type of indecision. Indecision. <laughs> what is this that flipped around? So we have three of cups and a will of fortune. Okay. And you know what happened? During the pre-shuffle when I was um, meditating on this energy, the will of fortune came out. So there is some good luck. And I was having like, uh, you know, good energy as well. So there's a lot of good energy coming here. There's something that's going to um, have some type of movement. Okay. This is something that you had a lack of hope on. This is something that um, you felt like, um, like um, it was very much so like, Somebody that was ha, had some type of manipulative tem tendencies with the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody that was overly critically, over critically thinking, if I can get it out. And then we have the Hermit in reverse. Somebody that was concealing and withdrawing and was very hasty towards you, and um, you know, were was not able to with um, effectively communicate. Ten of Cups. Now this person realizes that they do want their Ten of Cups with you. They do know that it would be satisfaction with you. They do know that they want to be truly aligned with their true North Note, with their true... They want to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we do have progress here back to the beginning. Um, there, There's, um, you know, some type of transition period here. This person understands that they want to go ahead and give you some type of the expression, right? Some type of news, some type of news, some type of expression of love. They want to give you some type of gift, right? They want to be able to effectively communicate something. Split the deck on the chariot. So they do definitely want to travel towards success and you are success. Then we have good news. So there's some type of good news this person wants to share with you. King of Wands. So you're definitely very influential. You're very independent and you're very ambitious. Continue, right? That you're That's who you are. Don't let anything stop you um, from from doing that. And this person sees that. This person sees that, like, that's just who you are. You're a very loving individual. You're a person that gives back. You're a visionary and you're, amb you're ambitious. You want it all. Always. Two of Wands. So you're definitely, um, like, with this, we have progress over and over and over. So definitely we have progress here on something that's been very stuck and stagnant over this there's some type of hump that needs to get over. There's some type of release that needs to happen. There's some type of truth that needs to be told. But I do see progress in this conversation. This person is definitely going to come forth and let you know that they were being very deceitful. They were being cunning, very cunning towards you because they were trying to, you know, they, they were being very manipulative in this situation, which caused the, um, we got the hangman in reverse and then the five of wands in reverse. Which, which caused them to have a lot of self-doubt, which caused them to have a guilty conscience, and what, which caused them, you know, some conflict, right? Some conflict. And I have mental con conflict as well. Page of Cups. But this person does uh, see that, you know, they want, this is a romantic visit. They want to go ahead and understand something different. They understand that they have to learn something new. And they want to, like, stop withholding. They understand that you can be, okay, king of cups, yes. Strength, balance. And they understand that, that you are trustworthy. They understand that they can go ahead and let go. And, 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 you, and you're not, like, you don't waver in what the fuck you do, right? Okay, king and queen of cups came right, out, right after each other. So it's just a balance. It's all about a balance. It's all about having that balance. It's all about improving yourself. It's all about constant growth. And it's all about understanding, like, how to effectively communicate this shit, right? Being sensitive, being able to emotionally connect, being vulnerable, not having just some type of surface bullshit, let, being able to really have a conversation and, and have a deeper understanding, if that makes sense. King of Swords. 
this person does want to make some sudden action towards you. They do have to be brave in doing so because this person lives in their head, right? They live, they like, if, if you could pay Brent for living in this person's head, you would be a motherfucking billionaire by now. Okay. And vice versa, because you think about this person as well. But it's just like, you're not a person that's not going to be able to affect... You say what the fuck you mean, right? Say what you mean to say. Say what you mean to say. Magician. So something that you have been manifesting that has been like hard work. It's been hard as fuck. This shit has been hard. It, it's, it's not been easy. At one point in time, this person was worrying about what other people think. And, you know, you know, reaching out to the wrong people. And you don't need to worry about what other people think. You have to follow your intuition. Right? Your intuition is never going to lead you wrong. Follow the signs. Follow the synchronicities. Follow what spirit is telling you to do. To do. Then we have the Ace of Cups as well as the Ace of Pentacles. So, and then look what we have. The Two of Cups and then Strength. So, this person definitely knows that um, they want this new beginning with you. They do know that it would be very much so like growing. It would be very much so generational. Breaking generational curses as well as generational uh, wealth. Like a legacy is born. That's what I have. It's, it's very much so creating uh, empire and being very abundant. And there's, you know, some type of partnership that, you know, a contract that, you know, that you're supposed to fulfill and create this abundance. And it's just all about healing. It's all about healing. It's all about strength. There's been a lot of like inner demons that either way, both parties have had to, had to face, had to inter do some introspection and understanding to learn themselves and love themselves from within, right? Because you have to learn yourself, the good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. You have to accept that all of that is a part of you, right? And you don't have to live in that lower vibrational energy once you accept that shit and once you accept that there's power in growing, there's power in healing, there's power in, you know, moving forward and not staying stuck and stagnant. Six of Cups, somebody from your past, somebody from your childhood, childhood memories, um, nostalgic memories, somebody that there's very, uh, a very much so at home feeling. And what else do we have here? Knight of Pentacles, somebody that you've been very patient with. It's been very slow moving. Um, but it's like whenever this person finally gets where the fuck they're going, then they, they're going to be there, right? They're going to be there. They're going to be able to, um, communicate and be consistent. The devil. So that's right over um, move or change. So there, there's something that's um, like what's keeping this person stagnant. Let's get some more on that. Can we get some more? Please, Holy Spirit on the devil. Some type of addiction, some type of dishonesty that was keeping this person stuck and stagnant. Can we get some more on what that is? What is this? We have the four of cups. It's because this person... They were feeding into another situation. They were feeding into another situation. And now they see that this, uh, this is four cups in reverse. Now they see that there's nothing to feed in. Like there's, there's no, it doesn't matter how much water you give this situation. It's never going to grow. Period. And they're seeing that the situation that they should have fed into is like, is this going to be a missed opportunity for me, for me not being able to hire a right, fell right on me, right? Um, for not following my inter, inter guidance, right? For not following my, that's the motherfucking truth. So this person does definitely have a fear of, of missing out on you uh, because they didn't follow their inner guidance. And they know that, fool, they they know that they have to get on that I don't give a fucking energy and just get in out of their head and say what the fuck they mean to say, period. The motherfucking son. Because they know that with you is prosperous. With you is very much so... Um, Clarity is understanding. They know they can't be on no fuck boy, fuck girl type bullshit. Being clever, trying to be manipulative in no type of way, shape, and form. Because you see right through that shit. You see right through that shit and you're winning. You're winning regardless. You're very down to earth. And what do I have here? The motherfucking empress. You know who the fuck you are. You know you're a matriarch. You know that you're very stable. You know that you're very grounded down to earth. You know that you have transformational energy and you know what it's all about. We have temperance after that. We know that it's all about balance, period. All about balance. So this person knows that any type of illusions, any type of fears that they have, any type of deceptive behaviors, they're going to have to get rid of that shit and follow their intuition. 
You know, follow your intuition before it makes sense. This person's been receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities than they always have. And they understand the power of paying attention to that shit now. All right, let's go ahead and get some last advice. Use the angel's answers. No, I'm going to use the wisdom of Oracle. No? Okay. Here's like, no, angel's answers. So let's see what else we have. Get some last advice with this whole situation. It, it's, it's definitely like a lot of clarity that's had to happen that's being had. I thought something flipped over, but it didn't. Choose a new direction. Exactly. That's right over um, this person was feeling like it was a missed opportunity. They knew that there was something that they were going towards that was not for them. They knew that there was something that was going towards that was not going to grow. They knew that there was something that they were going towards that they were feeding, right? And now they want big, happy changes. They want big, happy changes, and that's a motherfucking yes. That's a yes to these big, happy changes because they know they don't want to be stuck and stagnant in some crusty, musty, dusty, not moving, growing, can't create abundance, arguing, fussing, fighting, in competition ass situation, right? Just all 11 11. Getting an alignment for the motherfucking assignment. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.